The following program was produced by an independent community producer. The opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect those of the ECAT staff or board of directors. Hi, everyone. My name is Jaden Tebow. I'm your host of this podcast talking about basketball, but mainly about the Boss Celtics. I'll be talking about the Boss Celtics about how they perform in along with everything Celtics news. I'll also be talking about all the players, who's doing good, who needs to play better. I'll be on three questions to basketball trivia. I'll also be discussing about the NBA as a whole, and who is currently leading the league in stats. I'll also talk about, a little about the coaches, how this team has been so successful. On my last topic, I'll update you on our games coming up, who I think we should be worried about, who's on the injured list. These are all going to be really fun topics, so you won't want to miss them. And this exciting news. Hope everyone is having an amazing day, so make sure you stay the whole time. Now, time for business. My first topic I'd like to talk about is the Celtics players, like Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, Derek White, Drew Holiday, Kristaps Porzingis, Al Horford, Sam Hauser, Peyton Pritchard, and all the amazing role slash bench players. Sucks are definitely improving. They still remain the best team in the NBA for this whole season. Sucks are red hot right now. They lost some of their last games, but on a two-game winning streak as of today. Actually, a four-game winning streak updated now, with a lot of injuries. But some of our players are stepping up big for us in the clutch, as we just had two dominant wins, which I'll be talking about later in the video. Brown, Porzingis, and Horford all injured every other game of resting because of their road trips, but we still play with a lot of composure. We know how injuries affect us. We maintain that right mindset which helps us close out a lot of games. Jason Tatum is getting more comfortable every season as the number one option on championship contender. This is definitely our best shot and chance at winning the championship as all of our players have put the work in. They want it. You can tell what their focus. They are laser beam focus right now. Bench is playing really good all these last five or six games and they have played five games in eight days. It's not that easy for any team. Joe Mazzula always seems happy with this team. How they are playing, and he seems to be playing every other team player more often, having more faith in all of them. Brown is going on a tear currently, putting up some amazing stats. He's played so much better and confident over this five game road trip. And it's good to see him play with much energy. You can tell he's working hard for each possession he gets. As Derek White and Holiday are both always getting a lot of steals too recently. Now, who's ready for some fun trivia about the NBA? You might not know. This should be a really good question, so let's dive in. Who's ready for some fun NBA trivia that might, you might not know? This should be a really good question, so let's dive in. in. The National Basketball Association was originally called what title? A. The Basketball Association of America B. The Basket Association of America C. The Sports Association of America or D. The WNBA Association of America First, before we go to the answer, I'd like to go to commercial break, so stay tuned because you won't want to miss it. Welcome ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, residents of Easton, friends and neighbors. This is Bill Ames, co-host uh, with Priscilla Omquist Olson of The Film Connection. On ECAT now for over 20 years. We're very proud of that. And we like to interview guests from Easton who have been involved in the film business. Actors, uh, producers. We're very fortunate to, today to have a producer of a film. There's a storm. Join me, Priscilla Amkustolson, to explore the town of Easton and its interesting, engaging, ordinary, and extraordinary people, and meet a smorgasbord of guests, including artists, authors, musicians, business owners, community organizations, clergy, local leaders, etc., etc., etc. Community Forum at 3 p.m. on Thursdays and 1.30 p.m. on Saturdays. See you then. Hi there, I'm Gail Devins, and join me as we discover all the businesses that made Easton great. This is a wonderful, wonderful place. I cannot wait. I want to do it. I want to go there. I am definitely coming back and I know you will too because I'm telling you something, it is absolutely 
amazing in here. It's what a wonderful way to discover Easton. It's right here in Easton. Showing at noon on Mondays, 2 p.m. on Tuesdays, and 11 a.m. on Fridays, only on ECAT. Welcome back, everyone, from Michael Marshall Break. If you guessed A, the Basketball Association of America, and you'd be correct, as this is what has been called up until recently as a change to the National Basketball Association of America. No other name beside those two. For our next topic, I'll be talking about some games they've had recently, both the player stats and both the team stats. I'll also be predicting the next game. Some of the games Celtics have had recently were against the Suns, Trailblazers, Jazz, and the Suns again. Now don't get me wrong, but I feel all three of these games were pretty good, even though the game does not show it. The first game I want to talk about was against the Suns, which was pretty good. I saw this only won 117-107, which is only by 10 points. It's not that big of a lead. It was pretty close the whole time. Record this season is pretty good as they're in the playoff mix right now. They saw the overall team, even without Devin Booker due to injury. Both KD and Beal and all the bench players were stepping up like Grayson Allen and Nurkic. Some deep depth bench pieces. Overall, it was a fun game to watch and very entertaining until the final minutes. Celtics started to go on a run. They came away. The entire Celtics team played really well together. Not to mention they all had really good games as they contributed to the win. They had really good chemistry in that game. But KD and Beal both had really good scoring nights. Along with Nurkic, is like 15 or 16 boards. The next game we played on a five game mode trip was against the Trailblazers, who were really bad this season, but they actually played pretty good in some games. This latest game was not one of those games that they showed. Sox beat the Trailblazers by 22 points, leaving the final score at 121 and 99, which is not even close. Trailblazers are a tanky team this season, but definitely have a bright future with Scoo Henderson as a point guard. He's looking to be one of the best players for years to come as he is taking a big role, as he struggled in the first couple of months of the season, but now he's heating up. They also have Brogdon, Ayton, Williams, Grant, and Simons. They are all really good bench pieces. They all played really well together after only their first year as a team. Sucks played all really good games by White, Tatum, Pritchard, Horford, Hauser, Cornette, and Brown. They were on double figures, which is my opinion, really impressive for seven players to have. Celtics so wanted more in that game. That win got them 50 wins in the season, which is quite the accomplishment. So they were the first team to hit 50 wins. And the next game they played was against the Jazz, which is a blowout also as the Celtics won 123-107, to which is a 16-point win. Celtics so on a three-game winning streak currently. So they are like one of the most consistent teams this season during the regular season. Sucks along with Joe Mazzulla looked really good and it controlled the whole game. Sucks won by that much without Brown, Horford, and Porzingis due to injury. Just goes to show how much they don't need them, how good this team is without them, how much the bench players can step up and affect your whole team in their game plan. Jazz players were really good as a young rookie, Keontae George, was amazing. He looked stellar as he was the whole season. Jazz is playing decent this season, but I think they could be playing a lot better. Lauren Markin is taking on a bigger role as he has become one of the superstars in this league. Let's talk about their next game against the Suns, where they won by like 15 or 16 points, as KD and Booker and Beal only played the 24th game together, as Celtics just dominated them the whole game, as Nurkic got 20 rebounds. Overall, a really good 5-game mode trip for them. Now let's talk about the Celtics team overall this season, where they need to improve, point out the players that are good and bad this season for them. Team of all the season is performing un- outstanding. They are 51 and 14. They get better every year. So they always improve because they know they can be one of the best teams of all time if they just keep their minds to it like this. Sucks have so much confidence as it is all due to Joe Mazzulla. So he's changed the team tremendously ever since he became the head coach last year. He has played on a bigger role as he trusts his players more to take over any game, especially his new players, George- Jane Springer and Xavier Tillman. Sucks always have a good offense led by JT and JB and Porzingis as a defensive anchor. 
and a lot of players improving for us on offense and defense that were never good before the season. I'll never have thought firing Emil Duco would be smart, because he was an excellent coach, but boy was I wrong, because he found our next man for head coach. Brad Stevens is doing an outstanding job, as he has made this team possible. Without him, we would be nothing right now. He has one of the brightest features for the Celtics team. I feel like they don't win the season. Coaches will look to make a lot of new trades and look to make a new roster next season around Tatum and Brown, two superstars for it. Celtics are also at the top of Eastern Conference for the whole season, as this is not even close currently. But anything can happen in the last stretch of the games, because I don't want to jinx it. Celtics could not be playing with any more momentum than they already are. They could definitely get better in some areas, like offensive rebounds, not line up open shots, but those are my only real two complaints. As they let up too many offensive rebounds, they get too many open shots for the other team, way too much. I cannot be happy right now with how we're playing, so go Celtics! Let's keep this train rolling! Now time for a second NBA trivia question. Name one of the two possible teams with the most MVPs awarded. A. The Celtics B. The Lakers C. The Bulls or D. The Thunder before I tell the answer, I'd like to go to commercial break, so stay tuned, because you won't want to miss it. I'll be right back. Hi, I'm Ron Van Dam. I've been in radio for three decades now, and have been doing a daily podcast-style show for a few years. But once a week, I come to the ECAT studio, where they give me wine and cheese. Hey, welcome to the program. How are you? Good to be with you. Hey, you're looking good today. Thanks for being here. Make yourself comfortable. This won't take too long. It'll be a little bit painful for you, but... In the long run, it's important for you to go through this. And I do a TV version of the podcast. I talk about what's going on in the world and in the area and give my opinions on things. Uh, That's both uh, something to look forward to and also a warning. So tune in to see me move my mouth while I talk. Who knows? We might have something in common. Probably not, but you never know. Uh, uh, Catch my show here, The Ron Van Dam Show, right here on ECAT. It's the Ron Van Dam Show. Hold on tight, things can get a bit weird, if you like that sort of thing. Hello everybody and welcome to the official first episode of Eatin' with ECAT. My name is Joseph Taft. I'm Jack Ryan. And I'm Abby Kishlam. We are, in fact, your co-hosts, and we are determined to bring you all the big eats that you can handle. So listen, if you're a foodie, you're not going to want to miss any of the action. Check out our website, www.eastoncat.org, or find us on social, uh, at eastoncat to find this episode on demand. Oh, you're going down, Kishlam. You're going down. You're going down. I got through the foam, and I'm getting a little more down to the... It's like... The fact that there's jelly in this just unsettles me. A Reuben sandwich is the best sandwich out. The sauerkraut mixed with the Thousand Island and the rye bread. This is something I have never seen before. (laughs) We're good. We're all family here. Where does the ice cream begin? Big bite. The the, um, whipped cream. Mm. Here we go. My name is Harris Young, and after 13 years of talk show experience, I seek to bring you the best in interviews with some of the very best guests around, including. And there we are, experts. I've seen thousands of demons actually come out of the mirror one time. One time. Wow. Musical guests and artists. If I say how I feel, would you really listen? And interesting characters of all types. I threw that kid across the classroom. I, I Look, he didn't try that ever again. Wow. Join me at Topic Time on your Eastern cable station anytime they want to play it. And I, from what I understand, that's quite a few times a day. Love it. Hi everyone, and welcome back from the commercial break. And if you guessed A or B, then you'd be correct, because it could be either the Boston Celtics or the Lakers, as both teams have had remarkable teams. A lot of players that are well known on both teams. They have a lot of Hall of Famers combined. Celtics are 40, 51 and 14 in first in the East, as they are followed by the Milwaukee Bucks, who are second in the East, and they are 42 and 24, getting really good. And they're on a hot streak right now. Because they haven't played really well over these last couple weeks. Bucks are really good with Doc Rivers this season. So he has definitely changed his team around. He works well with all of his players. Unlike Mike Boonholzer before. As he just wants to win, which is a good mindset. 
the one that can be the most dominant team in the league. They stay healthy. They could be any team on any given night. I'll even admit that they could be a lot better than us, the Celtics, in the future. They could just stay healthy, but that's a big if. As they can easily be us in seven game series, but I don't think it will be happen anytime soon because we have too much firepower both ends of the court. Tatum and Giannis will both go off each night because I think it would be a dogfight of a battle. But in the end, personally, I think Tatum will play with this food around Giannis. Celtics will dominate. In the West, for the records, the Thunder and Nuggets are first and second seed. Thunder are the first seed as they are 45 and 20, which is really good this season, with Shane and Holmgren improving always. I expect some big playoff games from them, and they have a lot of potential. You can easily play a little better on the offensive boards and fast break because they have some flaws. And that's also to stay healthy, just keep for any contender. They want to go to the finals. Nuggets are second in the West as they are also 45 and 20. They have really good chemistry under Mike Malone. Mike Malone has a very unique style for his team to play. He makes up different plays. They always work as they just beat my boss Celtics team too sadly. Jokic and Murray have a lethal two-man game as they can both take over any given night with their solid role players like MPJ, Carl Pope, and Gordon as they can take over for the number one option. They are all amazing scorers, but their defense could be a lot better. Time for the NBA as a whole news. I'll be talking about the, who's doing good for the players around the league who will lead in every category. There's a lot of news in the NBA, so listen up. Western Conference is really tight as the first nine teams in the West all winning records this is a jam-packed playoff picture. Our team need to do good in these last games if they want to make the playoffs. Because any team could just become bad all of a sudden, then get dropped down in the standings. Over the Eastern Conference, on the other hand, is not that close at all. Celtics are running away with this one. The rest of the teams are pretty close, as the seven teams behind Celtics are really tight also. I mean, it's just been really fun games this season, like the Bulls game, where they won by an outstanding performance from DeMar DeRozan, and the Rockets to Spurs game as there have been a lot of hot teams. Steph Curry, of course, leads the league in three-pointers, made with 290. So I'm not surprised. This team is surprised these at five, but not 194. Daniel Gafford has made the most field goals in a row, of all time with 33 made field goals, without missing, as he is also shooting 71% from the field. Grayson Allen also leads the league in three-point percentage, with 47.4%, as Drew Holiday is at five, with 44.2%. So he's really solid this season and a good fit around Tatum and Brown. He's a perfect teammate and overall vibe. There have been a lot of good scores like KD, Embiid, Tatum, Giannis, Luka, and LeBron James. All of those really good players that I had not mentioned still. Jalen Duran is getting a lot of rebounds with 23, won the last games as he has been their best player. It's not even close as he is really dominant on the opposite boards this season. Before I go to my final qu trivia question, I'd like to talk about how the Celtics should sit the 52 win mark. They're the first team to do that, as they're the first team to also make the playoffs and clinch it. So congrats to them. Hope they can do this in the finals. Who's ready for the final NBA trivia question? This Miami team joined the NBA in 1988. A. Miami Heat. B. Orlando Magic. C. Miami Dolphins. Or D. Miami Marlins. Before I tell her the answer, I'd like to go to commercial break, so stay tuned because you won't want to miss it. Welcome to Service Matters, a weekly radio show that talks about the good things that are happening in local communities and beyond. Since 1978, the Eastern Food Pantry has been dedicated to providing food to our neighbors in times of need, as long as there's a hungry people in our community, our doors are open, our hearts will be open to help. We also like to talk about the good things that people do to make a difference, and in many cases, to make dreams real for folks out there in need. Just to chat about, as you say, some of the good things in life, there's some of the good things, the great things, and the happy things. And certainly watch us on ECAT, Eastern Community Access Television. I didn't see you there. 
Sick of all the new shows and movies dominating pop culture? Well, have no fear, because Old Time Movie and Old Time TV are here, where we like to add our own flair. There's, there's a truck out front, and if, if we could just get the keys- Are you crazy? Are you out of your mind? Those are flesh-eating zombies. They upended our car, okay? We're lucky to be alive, especially Joe. I had to pull him out of the trunk, for crying out loud. <sighs> it's been a long day. Also, make sure to check out the Radio Cast, our accompanying podcast where we talk about what we've watched. There was a lot of moments of just <laughs> Mac on the raft, going down the river, just it's internal like, monologuing over and over and over. We show the classics and nothing but the classics. Well, except for the weird ones. Check us out on all our channels as well as our YouTube. Hi everyone, welcome back from the commercial break, and if you guessed A, the Miami Heat, then you would be correct as they joined in 1988, not the side of their great franchise, as they have won 3 or 4 championships, as they are followed by the Celtics, Lakers, Bulls, and Spurs, I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, that's all we have time for today, basketball fans. Again, I want to say I appreciate you all watching and listening. I want to give a big shout out to all the people that watch my videos. Make sure you come back next week. As about providing more updates and even more fun trivia. But for now, take care everyone. Have a really good night.